Hello, my name is Jay Graham. I'm the engineering manager here at Marathon Coach. It's January 3rd, 2016, or 2017, we changed years. And I'd like to invite you to see our brand new uh, H345 quad slide show coach. It's uh, coach 1258, which means it's our 1,258th coach. So uh, we're pretty proud of it and we'd like to uh, take you guys through it and show you what we got going on. So let's take a look inside. First off, you can notice the incredible stone inlay. So it's a porcelain tile plank flooring with a uh, really incredible stone inlay. It turned out fantastic. This is a what we uh, as a quad slide. What's really popular about the quad slide is the just the space. I mean, you can if you can get a sense from from the video of how just how open it is. Now this this unit has four slides and. They were done by a company called Valid Manufacturing. So what's unique about this particular chassis is if you'll see here, if, if uh, the video can pick up the floor in front of the, the chair and the galley, it's what, what we call a flush, flat floor. So there's actually, the floor actually breaks right here. This section drops down and then the room comes in. So what it does is allows you to have all your furniture, all your cabinetry on the same level. And it has been just hugely popular. It's, it uh, really offer, offers a lot of different floor plan options and just makes it just, it makes it feel like, uh, almost like a home. It's just so spacious. Uh, one of the special things about this coach is we wanted maximum storage and we really wanted to since a lot of times your kitchen cabinetry is kind of in your entertainment area, we wanted to conceal the galley, the, ca the uh, appliances. So there's actually a hidden microwave. Line, flip out, slide back doors. So when you want to use the appliance, slide the doors back. It worked out really well. There's a uh, dishwasher drawer, which is standard on our units. It's concealed as well. We have another, we have a cooktop that's underneath the countertop. And in this unit, we actually added some storage inside here. A place to put your cooktop cover. And we have, we have a trash pullout and also another pullout shelf. Really tried to maximize storage in this one. Entertaining is, you know, really popular. So this one actually has a really nice size gala to entertain at. And something new for us that's uh, that's been a bit of a surprise and popular is the hidden pantry pullout. Customers who have seen that have really uh, appreciated it, and we've actually added it to a coaster too. Give them a really big on, on stealth and making things clean and just try not to you know see a lot of appliances if you don't have to. This is our full size sub zero refrigerator. Just looks like a cabinet. And we even include little spice storage cabinets integrated in. Another uh, kind of popular feature has been our dinette, our storage on our dinettes. We do tip out backs for storage behind and the tabletop is motorized. So if you need more space, we run the, we typically customers will run the table in while they're traveling to keep the aisle space, but uh, been real popular. We've had um, liquor storage back there, knickknacks, uh, works out really well because it's it's completely concealed and we add another one over here and keeping keeping with the uh, concealed theme while well, one of the things that I think so far we seem pretty unique to or kind of an exclusive to us is our our picture recesses real real popular, real common in our coaches. 
In this particular one, we actually made it a door to get back to a, a pantry storage behind it. And realizing that you don't have access if, you're, if your slide room is in, we added, that's actually a pullout. So if you need to get to it while you're traveling. Hey Jay, someone would like to know, do you ever do booths in the dinettes? We do. We do actually an expandable booth, um, do facing booths, and then they pull out 12 inches with cushions and tabletop extensions that go in so you can comfortably seat four people. In fact, I think if they were to go to our, I think on our YouTube channel we have a video of the, of the, both this dinette and then the facing dinettes that shows the conversion. Okay, let's let's head down the hallway. We have more 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 hidden pantry storage areas with the push release latches. Those have worked out really slick. Our pocket doors are all headerless, so you'll notice that as you look down, the camera can pick up down through the the hallway. There are no headers that come down. It keeps the keeps the headspace at a maximum and really gives it a really nice clean look. And so I'm going to go down here and, and the camera is probably picking up the hallways kind of tight but one thing that's I think Marathon is if if we're not the only one we must we're close to the only one we actually do a pocket door on our water closet because when you think about it at home usually when you're using your bathroom you're only the door is only shut while you're using it well on our coaches we like to keep the the doors open kind of at home so with the pocket door you can leave the door back still allows you to have all the room and only close it when when you're using it so it really it, you can tell I don't know if the camera can pick up on it really opens up the hallway allows you to leave we do some we've got a, uh, a picture another spot for a picture that's just a magnetic frame so if you want to change the picture you just pull off the frame, it's held on with magnets, slide a new picture in there and put it back. And you notice there's more, more picture recesses back here in the bedroom. Um, it allows you to, to really add some nice decor without encroaching in on the space. Now one thing I, I will mention about this particular slide, this is a, uh, from Val, this is a 125 inch slide room. So it's, it's one of the largest available and uh, it really makes a nice spacious bedroom it allowed us to put three full height closets in the bedroom and uh, we have on some of them we have like this one I'll pull that open there's there's drawers behind if uh, the camera can get we have shoe bags really try and utilize every single nook and cranny if we can we know storage is important and uh, we like to haul everything we can with us when we go places so we try and provide as much as we possibly can This uh, is new for us, and a new feature here is this. You see this looks kind of uh, a slightly frosted glass. Well, this is a uh, it's a liquid crystal privacy privacy wall and door. So when you're just you know using the bedroom as a bedroom, it keeps without a solid wall there. It keeps the space nice and open. Really feels just feels a lot less enclosed. But when you do need the privacy, I'll step in here for a moment and show you how this all works. So the two windows line up. So now you have noise privacy, but you need a little bit more than that. So if I find the right button. So there we go, that's new for us. It's been super popular. We've had a couple of customers already spec it in. And if the camera can make it back, I don't know if you can turn the wall back clear. We've included on this particular shower, there's a, a rain shower head along with a handheld and then a flip down teak shower seat, which really is nice for space. It allows you to tip the seat up out of the way if you're not using it. And if you like to take long showers, you can sit on that seat and look through the window and watch a 55 inch TV. It's, it's kind of a, a little extra perk if, if uh, you like to spend time. 
I should, we've already answered a question. I did wanted to, I wanted to um, say that if you do have questions, go ahead and, and uh, send them in and we'll do the best we can to answer them for you. On our way out, I'm gonna show you a feature that we kind of passed in the hallway as we came through. And that's our six foot closet. So we've got telescoping doors on this to really, that allows you to really maximize the opening. Really nice. I don't know that there's anybody else out there that has a six foot closet in a, in a quad slide. It really adds to the storage. And inside it, we've included a, a recessed in the wall, an ironing board and an iron. And this is kind of cool, so I'll show this off. When you're parked, you don't want to have to strap your iron in all the time. So we put it, hung it up there with magnets. So it just... So Jay, we have someone who'd like to see the rain shower head on. What could you tell them about that? Um, well, we can see if the pumps are on and try it. I'm, uh, the trick is going to be trying to get the faucet on without getting wet. So tell you what, why don't we, we can either send them a video. I think we do have one, either a video. Uh, we can send you the video of the, of the rain shower or we can, we can have um, James videotape it later and then send you a clip of that. Yeah, the problem is the valve is inside. I'm afraid I might get wet trying to turn it on. So that's a great question though, because it's a really beautiful seeing that, that shower head fall. It's quite a, it's a stunning feature. So it's been really popular. We've, we've included it now on several coaches because as customers have seen it, they've went, hey, that, that looks good. Um, I will mention this is a, uh, you'll probably notice there's, what's that panel? Well, this is all pre-plumbed and pre-wired and pre-vented for a stack washer dryer. So you would just move the iron and the, ref and the uh, ironing board to the other side of the, and the stack, wa the stack washer and dryer would fit in there. And actually that's where the dryer vent is. There's, there's the hole in the side of the coach it's all sealed up now, but you, uh, if you put it in later, you could, it just hooks up right there. So Jay, we have another question. Somebody would like to know if that's the curved TV. Yes, on this, in the bedroom, it is the curved TV. It's a 55 inch curved one. It really fits the space nice. It, it, uh, I didn't mention that um, we have, right now you see the bed in the, our bed is an adjustable bed, and, and it's currently in the up position, but it, it actually, lowers down because most people want to sleep in a down position. And then after this we have another question, Jay. Okay. We have someone asking about the headroom availability here. He's six foot three. Maybe we could also tell him about the X3 headroom. Sure. So there's the bed all the way down. So what that did is the foot of the bed went in 12 inches. So when um, you're parked and you're not sleeping, you can run that bed up and it gives you 12 inches more aisle space, just makes the, the room feel a lot more spacious, but it's a king bed. You put it down and, and you have the full king sleeping surface. We'll leave that down for now. The headroom on this particular unit is, it's 78 inches. So if, if my math serves me right, that's six foot six. So if someone's six three, that would be, that would be pretty comfortable. And then on the X3, it's a six inch taller chassis. Of that, we took about an inch of the space. It's, it finishes out about, I want to say, it's about 83 inches. And uh, so it, it, it's, it's really spacious. It really feels, feels super tall. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let James go through and give you kind of a full shot of the salon going back the other way. Does that sound good? And you see a over to the left. You'll see a that's a 32 inch or a, yeah 32 inch TV that you can view while you're going down the road. So when the room is in, that TV you see in the front, that 50 inch television raises up into the ceiling, and you can't have it down while you're driving. So we we include a 32 inch TV while you're traveling. And then that's a a a fireplace, and it does pump the heat out. It's a really really high output unit. It'll heat the salon up really quickly. All right, we have another question. Um, does the ceiling have LEDs that can change the colors? Yes, in fact, if, if uh, James gets the ceiling on camera, it'll, and we wait a minute, they should change color. 
but they have a color select so you can stop them on any particular color. But you can see now they're transitioning from yellow to pink to purple. They have been, they have revolutionized the way we light the coaches because they are so small and they have very little power draw and their bulb life is, they're between 40 and 60,000 hours and they actually are in a little channel that we put up here. And this, this space you here, have here, one thing that's unique to Marathon is our air conditioning is actually ducted out of that space, which is, I think, exclusive to us. And what it does is when these rooms come in, it allows the air to blow over the top of the rooms and, and fall into the salon where in, in uh, some of the others you'll see the vents in the ceiling, the air blows straight down and it'll blow on top of the room. So this has been, this has changed the way we've been able to do the salon. Um, we allowed us to do this nice recessed detail and do varying, we have varying designs in the ceiling. What you see in this ceiling is what we call our freeform pattern. We do several other designs with actually the LED flat panel lighted in the ceiling, which allows another light source. So if the spotlights are a little bright, you can turn on the lighted panels. Um, yeah, it's just, it's really changed the way we've been able to, to uh, design the coaches with the lights being so small and just before the, some of the lighting, uh, it was a power concern and now it's, uh, yeah, it's worked out really slick. Do we want to head outside or do we, is there more questions? Okay, let's let's uh, take a quick look at the outside. All the handrails, if you can pick them up, coming down are all custom made for Marathon. Some pretty intricate, intricate bends on the metal. And this actually has a carbon fiber uh, hydro dip on it, which is it's pretty cool. So a few things on the app. We have our, our side cameras. So while you're while you're driving, it gives you, gives views of your blind spot. We have a intercom at the door, entry intercom. It'll ring and it's a video and it'll ring uh, a station in the bedroom. So when you're in the back, you can you don't want to get up. You can see who's out there. So on the our our quad units, we have the first two bays of storage. So we line all the bays and uh, gives the ability to put quite a few of your items. The H345s have some of the tallest under bays, if not the tallest, of any of all the motorhomes. So it allows for really great storage. Another storage bay. We provide a ladder. That's one of those multi-purpose ladders that. that um, It'll fold out to be, it'll be a, an A-frame ladder or it'll fold out to be a, a, a longer ladder and it's got rubber feet so you can clean up higher on the coach if need be. And then we also include four uh, folding chairs that stow in there nicely. A lot of the stuff you see in there are owner's manual information. We provide extra materials, flooring materials. Uh, so if you do have a flooring tile that gets damaged, there's, there's extra materials provided and even a paint touch-up kit. So if you want to attempt uh, touching up this beautiful paint job, there's materials there to do it. This is our, uh, you get a little bit of storage. This is our audio video cabinet. And it's the brains of the coach. It, it, it links with our tech link system. All right, Jay, we have a question. Yes. Do you need to take a class to learn how to drive something so large? You don't actually have to take a class. Classes are available. I learned to drive one in a half hour. I had driven big pickup trucks, was the only thing I'd ever driven, and took a tour, took about a half hour drive, and, and the instructor showed me what to do, and they drive fantastic. I mean, they really, it's automatic transmission. It drives like a big car. Uh, yeah, we've had a lot of customers though. Um, at times, at some of the rallies, they'll actually send one of our service techs and he'll do driving classes. So. 
thank you. We have another question. Have you ever built a rack for pedal bikes in the storage base? We have. We've done uh, a couple different ones. Um, we had a gentleman design his own. He was very, very um, particular about how he wanted it, and he designed his own, and we took the drawings, and we had it fabricated, and put it in. He was very pleased. It's, it's becoming more popular. In the past, it wasn't quite as popular, but now, uh, yeah, we've done actually, just this past year, we did two coaches with, with uh, bike racks. In there. What about dirt bikes and golf carts? We've done both of those as well. Uh, golf carts a few times. We did, we did a gentleman had a, uh, had, he dirt biked with his kids. I think they were electric, uh, I believe they were electric dirt bikes. And uh, we made a special rack and it went into the underbelly. The golf carts are neat because we do ramps. You go, how do you get it? How do you get it into the underbelly? Well, there's ramps that stow up top, and you fold them out, and, and there's a winch that just pulls it right in, so you don't have to worry about trying to line it up and drive it in. So yeah, it's worked out. It's worked out pretty slow. So here's our underbelly entertainment, our 50-inch uh, underbelly television. And we put it on a uh, swivel. And we have another question. How long will it take to build? My memory serves me right. It's uh, from the time the chassis arrives on our facility, it's about four months between that and when we actually deliver it. And they vary, they vary anywhere from, you know, eight to 12,000 man hours, so it's quite a bit of time we put into Let's move on to the plumbing bay. Now we, we took this, this, this coach up a notch. And these are actually tinted aluminum panels that match the paint job of the coach. And as you can see, it just turned out fantastic. I mean, it's quite... It's quite a look, and uh, we put our put an acrylic door on the plumbing because we like to show off the incredible work our technicians do, and that's been something that's been it's kind of a marathon. One of those things marathons known by is their as they show off the plumbing bay, and uh, we've kept it going for quite some time. But the yeah the tinted aluminum is is pretty amazing really shows well when matches the paint job on the coach. So Robert would like to know how is the paint job selected? The paint job, well our paint designer, he comes up, he may have ideas from either he has or our painters have or our owner has. And you know they're they're he's an artist so they're inspired by all kinds of different things. You know we he, I know he does things that just certain colors are popular, um, but I think for the most part we just turn we just turn Pete loose and he comes up with these incredible designs. Um, he's he's truly an artist and I think his his work speaks for himself itself, as well as our paint department. Um, I was at a show last year and I had a gentleman come up looking at the paint and he said I've been in the paint business for 30 years and he says. I, looking at your paint job, he goes, there's techniques on there, I don't even know how you do it. Um, it's, it's pretty incredible what they've come up with. So we are definitely proud of the paint, and uh, they just, they look wet to me. They just look wet all the time because they're so shiny. We have two more questions. Yes. The first one being, how long can you dry camp? It all depends on what, how many different appliances or lighting or different things, but they figure most people like running an air conditioner and a few lights can get can get about eight hours of, of dry camp time, eight to ten hours, depending on, it all depends on how many things you're going to run. And we've had people customize their coaches for dry camping, correct? We have. We had a gentleman, he put in five of the, the really high output lithium ion batteries, and I think he was able to almost double what he got, what most people get out of dry camp time, because he just, he's a retired engineer, retired electrical engineer, so he he really put some effort into his electrical system and, and beefed it up for, for things like dry camping. So the next question is, um, can we tour the inside in Scottsdale? And I assume Albert is asking about Barrett-Jackson, because we'll be there soon. 
Um, we'll have to check. Um, if you leave leave a post on there, leave something for Mickey to look up, we can check to see if the coach is going to be in Barrett Jackson. I hadn't heard right now. This coach is going to end up at the Florida Tampa show. Um, but after the Tampa show, I'm not sure where it's headed. And then the next question is, do many new conversions have bus um, over the road AC from Prevo, or do you need to run the generator for air conditioning while traveling? So while traveling, you can run off our inverter, you can run two of the air conditioners. If you want to run all four, you can start the generator. Um, the, the, what we call over the road, or something that's designed more for like carrying 50 plus people, that's a, we can order those, but those are on special request. Um, we used to do a few more of those, but because the roof air conditioners have been so, just such a great, great solution for our air conditioning needs, they, are, they sit up on the roof, they don't take any base space. We do almost all exclusively roof airs. All right. All right, so we have someone who'd like to get back to the paint job and wants to know if the new owner can select the paint job. Yes, yes, anything that's if it's not already painted. So if you were to come in and order a coach, all of our customers pick out their own paint job. So they work with, with our paint designer and um, we've done as, I think he's done as many as 50 different renditions before the customer, we got the customer exactly what they wanted. So uh, that process, yeah, it can take a couple hours, it can take a few weeks depending on uh, just What's, what's involved, but the techniques, I mean, you can see by this paint job, the techniques that are available now are pretty much almost endless, and they keep coming up with new ways to, to splash paint on a coach, so. But a new owner, yeah, definitely gets to pick out colors, designs, um, pretty much only limited by your imagination. You wanna to head to the other side? Okay, let's run around. There's just a few more things to show you on the other side. You are on, this is our Marathon Coburg facilities production floor, so the camera picked up, we're in the middle of a shift, and so guys are working, and so that background noise you're hearing, or guys hard at work, creating more work coaches. This is the other side of our plumbing bay, so with the, the painted aluminum panels with all the chrome on there it really pops and we have a little what we call our a tech link our electrical system interface a little screen there so you can check your tank levels and, and then it has all the, the things you might might need now one thing that is definitely exclusive to marathon is I don't know if James can get back and see there's a door that's dropping down underneath the coach but you'll see a cord coming out. That's the shore cord. There's also the sewer sewer hose that pops out of that. And that's our, our Freedom Plus, patented Freedom Plus sewer hose system. You push the button, it shoots the hose out, stick it in the, the dump. And when you want to, when you need to go back in, you just put the cap on it, hit the button, and it sucks it back in, and then the door lifts up. So that is a Marathon exclusive. It been kind of revolutionized the way Marathon customers get to camp because they don't have to drag a sewer hose out anymore. These are our inverters. So when you talk about dry camp, these two, two uh, 4,000 or 4,500 watt inverters keep the coach running off the batteries. And that's our, our uh, Kohler 20 kW generator. So with that, it has enough power to basically turn everything on in the coach, which is really nice. And the fuel economy, it, it only burns about a gallon an hour, so it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty efficient unit. And these are just the other sides of the storage bay. 
So it gives you access from both sides. So is, uh, are there any more questions we can answer before we sign off? We do. Um, does the generator exhaust go to the side or out the top of the coach is the first question. And then the second question, is this a four season coach? The generator exhaust actually goes out the very back of the coach. The coach, the coach engine exhaust goes out the roof, the generator exhaust out the back. And uh, yes, I would say it's a four season coach. It's got. It's got four 15,000 BTU air conditioners, which is more than most homes, and it's got several, it's got a, a, a hydronic heating system, so you can circulate heat through the coach. We've had customers down into the, into the below zero's uh, temperature ranges, so it's, uh, it works for all seasons, I would say. All right, we have two more questions. Yes. Um, when will we do a four-wheel drive sprinter van? And do we provide custom parking? Oh, for the Sprinter van, uh, you probably have to talk with, with our owner on that. We've actually investigated uh, some of the Sprinter vans, but we have yet to do one. The carpet, we've done all kinds of carpet. We do sculpture carpet, custom carpets we've done. So carpet, yes, custom, any, pretty much again, limited by your imagination. But uh, the, the hardwood floors have been more popular recently, but Still, we do a ton of carpet in the bedroom because it's, it's a little bit nicer. All right, we have another question that came in. Are the coaches already configured for tow vehicles, and are there any limitations? They are configured for tow vehicles. The, the chassis comes standard with a 20,000-pound rated hitch. So, and then we have, a, uh, we have American and European um, tow plug hookups. So we've had customers do Again, all kinds of crazy things there. We've had them do extra air braking for their tow vehicles. We've had some pretty large customers pull some pretty large double stack trailers with two vehicles in them. So uh, you, it's also rated to get, we've had motorcycle lifts put on. So it's, again, a lot of different options available. All right, we have another question. Well. Where's the generator cooling rack? Oh, the, the cooling radiator is in the front nose. So the bumper hinges down. And then the radiator's right there. It gets great airflow. We, we went to that, oh my gosh, 20 years ago, and that's worked out really slick for us. Okay, well, um, it's been a pleasure walking you through this. I will tell you, it is, it's January 3rd, probably about 3.30ish now, so um, this is a live video at this point, but... Uh, we have two more questions. Two more questions, like okay. As far as the golf cart features, how much storage will be lost? It takes up about three quarters to seven eighths of a bay. It depends on the golf cart. Now we've had, when we do the golf cart, we have a custom manufacturer because of the width. So they have to, they actually have to manufacture one that's a little bit narrower, but you get about, it takes up just because of the length and the space needed, it takes up about three, about three quarters of the bay. Can you lay down rubber? Yes. Is there gas fill on both sides? Of the chassis? Yes. Excellent. Yep. All right. Well, again, it's been a pleasure walking you through this. Um, for those of you out on the East Coast, this will be at the Tampa Super Show, I think in the third week of, third week of January. So we look forward to seeing you on our next, on our next video.